Welcome to Math 142 for uh, Winter 2022. My name is Chuck Devanji. I um, I'm going to be your instructor for this online course that we are we're doing this winter. So uh, I just want to take a little minute, talk about WAMAP a little bit, talk about the course a little bit, just to help you know what to expect. So as you take a peek at the screen right now, uh, what you see is uh, this, what I'm what is the student view? What you'll see when you when you log in. So a couple things I want to point out about this. Uh, announcements. Announcements will be released just about every week. You've probably already read this because you've got to this video. But anyways, um, check announcements, uh, you know, pretty much every time you log in. I'll throw stuff in there if something uh, strikes my fancy, and that sort of thing. I have this course laid out by weeks. So here's week one, getting started, uh, week two, etc. I'm going to switch it over to the screen that I see. Um, as we get through the course, later weeks will get will get uh, distributed, passed out, and I pass them out. Uh, I, I distribute them, release them two weeks before, um, two weeks before the actual week, so you have time to work ahead, which I really encourage you to do. It's it's nice to be on top of stuff. So let's take a peek at week one. You again have probably already done this because you're watching this video right here. Um, so here's some stuff that I want you to do this week. Um, weeks will be laid out like this. During the week you'll have the lectures for the week and if you look in quizzes and forums you'll have stuff that you have uh, due that week and it'll tell you when things are due as well. So there's week one. Week two is like I said already released. Same idea. Here's the lectures for the week and then here is the, the things that are due. And for the lectures, for example 5.2, I have the video lecture um, and then I also have some homework. Uh, these, these are problems out of the book that I want you to give a try to. These are good exercises. I, I don't collect these homework, um, but I really do strongly encourage you to do it. Uh, learn, math is, is doing. It's not just understanding. There's a getting the practice in as well that helps a lot. All right, so that's how each week is laid out. Let's take a peek at resources. We can look at the sil uh, syllabus and the calendar, that sort of thing. So there's some stuff in here. Uh, I'm going to look at the syllabus and the calendar. So syllabus first. I'm not going to read the whole thing to you, don't worry. I believe that you can read it. Uh, 142, Chuck Devanji, here's my email uh, from Wacom. I'd really prefer that you use the, the WAMAP email, the messaging system in WAMAP, which I'll show in a minute, but it's basically here. So. Um, course outcomes, prerequisites, the textbook. We are running through WAMAP, as you know. Here's a couple things. Exam schedules. The midterm is uh, this date and the final is this date. So make sure that you have those on your calendar. Do not miss those, please. Um, if something happens, contact me beforehand. Um, give me lots of leeway on it. Please don't send me an email saying, oh yeah, I just forgot. That's when they happen. Um, there's a calendar. I'll show you how to use it. This is not a self-paced course. I have things due at certain dates. Um, I'll talk about that when we look at the calendar. Here's how those percentages turn into letters. Uh, one thing I really want to point out, this class ends at the final. The final is final. It's the, it's the last day of class. So anything that you want to submit, like if you're turning in uh, late work using late passes, they have to be done uh, and submitted by 1159 the day before the final. Um, so there you go. You get six late passes. Um, they extend any assignment that you want it to. Well, any test or quiz, any practice quiz or time quiz, I should say. Uh, they don't work on forums. Um, there's a video on how to use them. All right, this is how things lay out for the grade. Midterms 30%, finals 35. The final is comprehensive, so you know it covers everything for the course. Practice quizzes and forms lumped together for 15%. Time quizzes are 20%. So I already talked about homework, not graded. Uh, the midterm and the final, again, there's those dates that they happen on. Uh, you get two hours to do it. Uh, to do it, it's two consecutive hours, so it's one sitting. Once you click start, uh, your two hours starts and you, you can't pause that time. Um, and what happens is on the day of the final or the midterm, it is open from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. So you can, you can block in your two hours any time that day from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. Take it any time you want. Um, but it does close at 10 p.m. 
So make sure that if you want the full tower hours, the latest you start is 8 p.m. that day. Practice quizzes forums are 15% of the grade. Uh, practice quizzes, you get four tries on each question. Um, no penalty for using them all. And um, these are not timed, but they must be completed by 11.59 on their due date. And uh, forums, I'll ask a question, a prompt. Please make sure you're answering the prompt uh, in your own words as well. Sometimes uh, in the past I've had students just basically copy something from a website. I want your own words. I want your take on it. Don't worry about being wrong. This is a time for us to, to you know, just talk about math. Uh, after you take the practice quiz, eventually you take a timed quiz. The timed quizzes are a lot like the practice quizzes. Two hours on timed quizzes, you get three tries on each problem. Um, and just like the, the midterm and the final, that, that time, that two hours starts when you hit start, you can't pause it. A couple things I want to point out on, on anything. If it doesn't specify, round to three decimal places. It's just a good rule of thumb. So do that. And uh, there's an auto grader on these. I go through and check them um, after they're due. But if you've done it and you're like, you know, I think I got this right. There's something wrong. Just send me a message. I'll, I'll take a look at it. Uh, before I usually do and then um, I'll let you know. I mean, that's that's no problem I don't trust the auto grader. It's convenient, but it's not it's definitely not the way that I base my grades Oh, that reminds me going back to test and midterm and final um, I strongly recommend that you submit your scratch work to me after completing the final for partial credit um, Then I can go in and see like oh, it was just an arithmetic mistake or something like that and give you a lot of points if you don't submit scratch work, uh, it's going to be right or wrong. And I, I prefer not to grade that way. That I, I feel a lot better when people send me scratch work. It's not required, but I think you should do it. All right, there's that syllabus. So we also have uh, the, this calendar, this printable calendar. I really suggest you print this out and just have it out so you can see it. Don't miss any deadlines. So this is the way the course is laid out. Notice I've got the whole thing. So if I look at week one, which we're in, you're watching the, you're doing day one tasks right now. You're watching the video. Um, so the 6.1 or the 5.2, that is a, a lecture and an assignment. So for example, go back to week one, 6.1, watch the lecture, do the homework. Um, and then, so those are lectures. Uh, this is this is the latest I think you should be doing 6.1. This is the latest I think you should be doing 6.2. And then, uh, if you'll know the things that are italicized, we have a week one forum due on, on Wednesday, and then a week one response, you're responding to at least one of the person's uh, forum posts by Friday. And then the practice quiz uh, 1A is due on Wednesday. These are always due by 11.59 that night. And the whole course is laid out this way. I've really tried to make forums and practice quizzes on Wednesdays and time quizzes on Fridays. I've had to adjust it a little bit on a couple of days. For example, like before the midterm, we have a little shift practice quiz on Wednesday. Uh, I think it's week eight. Nope, it's good. Um, yeah, so for the most part, your things that are due are going to happen on Wednesdays and Fridays. That final week, it shifts a little bit. We have a time quiz due on that Monday. Notice the finals here on this Thursday. Midterm is here on this Thursday. Really, I really encourage you to print this out so you don't miss any deadlines. Um, it's, it's hard to respond to emails that are like, oh, I just forgot. Uh, when the whole week is laid, yeah, the whole course is laid out for you. All right, uh, still in resources. Um, boo, boo, boo. Typing symbols into WAMAP, take a good look at this. One of the things I really like about WAMAP, about using it, is that we can type math in it. So let's look at messages. I'm going to flip back to my account. So if I wanted to send a message to someone, uh, I choose who I'm sending it to, uh, whatever it's about, and then, um, you know, blah, 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 dear sir, I think this class is amazing. Um, and then if you want to type in some math, you can see where it says add move new math you can click on that or you could actually even just type um, that little single um, apostrophe I don't know what it's called anyways that thing it's up top left on my keyboard 
So notice if I type something like uh, x caret 2 divided by 15 plus y, uh, 156 plus y. And if I arrow out of there, it actually formats it in a, in a, math, uh, a math way. <laughs> so it's easy for us all to read. So I really like that about this, about this program. Um, do, 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 I'm checking my notes. I think this is it. Hey, uh, if you want to contact me, message me. Um, please post things in the forums. If you look at forums, there is a questions for the instructor forum, which is always open, so you can post questions there. Um, I am here to help you get through this course. That's that's my job. So please take advantage of, of it. Um, stay on top of those deadlines and let me know what questions you have. I'm really looking forward to this class. This is a fun class. We do a lot of really good a lot of really good trig in here. All right, uh, take care, and I'm looking forward to working with you.